Hey everyone, I'm back and um, it's Thursday again. So Thursdays must be our day that is just not our day. Um, so I'm here with Dane live so you can actually see him, not just in a recorded video. Um, he's getting ready to go lay down for a nap. Um, we just got back from his therapies and um, he did you know fairly well, but today he had a, was his rough day. He had, um, he basically cried for most of them, um, we do OT and then speech, and he the first 10 minutes were pretty pretty rough, where he's just um, wasn't having it. He was he's over he was overtired and um, was crying. We had to take time just to calm him down, soothe him, to be able to actually tolerate and participate in therapy. And um, last night I had a meltdown myself, you know, and I was gonna get on and just do a, a, a video just to because it was in the moment to be real, but to be honest. I wouldn't have been able to just because I was crying and wouldn't have been able to understand anything I had, was trying to say. And so I wanted to be able to communicate and you understand that um, we have those moments as parents, whether you have neurotypical children or children with special needs that are gonna have, we're gonna have rough days and we're gonna have those moments where we break down and um, that's okay. And we have our support system to help us get through that. And um, hopefully that right now here in, in my life and um, at the church is the word is refreshing. And so hopefully that we become refreshed and feel renewed and rejuvenated to take on what the next day may hold. And um, so I just wanted to come and, and just share. Um, I will be posting um, a picture of, of myself last night just to show you the what the real the reality is. It's not all, this is reality. You know, it's not um, rainbows and butterflies. It's, Having a special needs child who is nonverbal is um, is beyond difficult, and they can't communicate. And this is how they communicate when they're frustrated. And um, uh, you know, like I said, he's overtired, so he's going to be going to get a nap. And um, uh, you know, and it gets very overwhelming when you're going to therapies multiple times a day. You're driving 45 minutes there uh, one way to go to therapy appointments, doctor's appointments. Um, life can definitely be overwhelming and, and, um, just feel like it's just too much and you just get tired, you get worn down. And that's kind of where I was last night that I just broke down and, um, you know, I'm thankful I have a husband and my, my mom who are very supportive and very involved in, in Dane's life and that I was, they were able to be there with me to kind of walk me through that moment and, and be there to support me through it. And I just want to encourage you, you guys that are listening, that if you have time, that you are t a time that you may be having a more difficult day or anything, and you feel like you need to cry or talk to whoever, that that's okay. We're going to have those times, and um, this is our new normal. You know, Dane is will always have some delays, and he's always going to have some needs, um, and so this is this is our new normal. But um, just make it easy. So. I just want to come on again. I guess Thursdays are get real time, so um, so I'll be showing you a picture of of from me yesterday where I just had just had a complete meltdown. Um, it is what it is, you know. But I want to show you that it's real and it's okay. Um, and then also you'll see a video of Dane today in his OT session where he had a meltdown himself, and and we had to take time to get him through that. And um, that that's just part of life. And um, those times are hard but we make it through and and we'll get to the next time we'll enjoy the good while we're there and when the bad times come we'll take it in stride and like i said thankfully i'm that i have a support system and hopefully you do too and if you don't have an immediate support system try to find one whether it be other families that are in your same situation whether it be friends family like i said before your pastors counselors um try to reach out and if you're not sure comment on these videos and somebody that may see this video may may have an idea or I may have an idea. You never know who um, has been through or where you're at and going through that they could help reach out and help you get through that time, give you some advice, some encouragement to get through. So hopefully you're gonna feel somewhat encouraged by um, seeing some of the realities that special needs children and their families go through and what therapy looks like, what a day may look like. That's the whole point of this channel, a day in the life of a cool kid. Um, seeing what it truly looks like, you know, and um, that you're not alone in, in 
having a rough day, a rough time, rough week, whatever it may be. Um, so just hopefully get encouraged, uh, get a good laugh out of his, his um, breakdown, get a good laugh out of my breakdown and know you're not, you're not abnormal and feeling your own and um, that we will take the, the next step and it's going to take, we're going to take it in stride, whatever it may come. So anyway, this video is going to be kind of short just because that's what it all, it's going to consist of. Um, and then we'll be hopefully shooting soon, um, getting some other cool families involved too. So stay tuned for that. And, um, I'll be getting some more updates with Dane and what, how, where he's at, where he's progressing to. Um, so for now, just, uh, again, thanks for tuning in, share the video that, um, and encourage somebody that, that you're with today. Give them, give them a hug, a nice smile, something good. Uh, just trying to encourage somebody and be kind, um, that we're all struggling through something. And, um, that somebody looks at you wrong or something that they may be going through something in their own self um, that you just may not be aware of. So be kind. Um, but if you yourself are going through something, know you're not alone and you can always reach out onto this. Sorry, onto this we had to pause for a second. Uh, Dean had a little spill. But as you can see, he's just tired. We're okay. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs> first thing pitching a fit. First real pitch.